Good morning, Cyber Traders, and happy Friday on this beautiful day of January 25th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you, Ben. Good to see you all. Mary Beth, Don, good to see you. Ken, good to see you. Steve, all you Cyber Traders, what a great, let me tell you. We had a slow week the last couple of days, but are you kidding me on PCG? Did I, did I not tell you? I am so upset with myself, you know, that this was a horrible loss for me because I sold half of it. I'm like, uh, you know what? Things trending down and back and forth. I said, you know, there's something going on with PCG. And, you know, this is what you, you get. This is what you're getting when you're, when you're here, guys. Um, when, you, when you're trading, you're, you're looking at it and you trade and you're looking at stocks and you're like, you know, something's going on. Something is actually going on with it. And uh, <laughs> how do you know? How do you know? Uh, how do you know what, what you know what, what to expect? But anyway, yeah, we're gonna share the screen a little bit, uh, Jeff. But before we talk about the PCG and and the Chrome, the CRON, and all that stuff, I just want to give you guys a heads up on a couple of events that are going on today. Uh, listen, we had a great, great showing yesterday. A lot of new members are joining us. You know, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to see everyone actually being out there and supporting CTU and talking about it. You know, listen, remember the big thing, what, what our goal is here at Cybertrain University. It's not, I'm not, I'm not here to, to tell you what to buy and sell. I'm just a messenger. I'm here to teach you to control losses, but I am here for the same reason you are. That is to make money. And it's part of being a, a team working together, but finding the right team. Because remember, there's a lot of people here, believe me, that, that, that do trials and, and don't take it a wrong way for some of you. You realize that as much as you want to trade, it's not for you. But you can't. You won't know the real truth until you hear. So, got a really busy schedule coming on today. I'll be on Wall Three Sixty Five at four o'clock on Friday. Tomorrow is going to be a probably one of the biggest events we've done in a long time. Uh, we got a webinar expo going on tomorrow on Saturday, January twenty sixth. I'll be on at two o'clock. Uh, then I will be at Trade Station next week, and then the following week we'll be on Metastock. So we got a really busy week here at Cybertrain University. So if you guys want to join, there's some great presenters and, uh, you know, always come out there and help support us, guys. So let us uh, let's go out there and try to recruit some really good traders, because remember, the better they the, the more the more serious you guys are, the more serious they are, the more it makes our lives a lot easier because that's why we're here. All right. So let me go out there and uh, let's get right back into the trading mood and and talk about what's happening in the market. So anyway, a lot of people did phenomenal yesterday, and we got to give a big, big round of applause, okay, to a lot of traders out there. First of all, um, I mean, I don't even know where to start, for crying out loud, but let's start with Nancy F. Nancy, did I not tell you with patience we're going to make a lot of money? Let's give Nancy a huge round of applause. She made over $3,000, all right? Come on. How great is that, Nancy? Isn't that beautiful? How it feels almost fake, right? But listen, don't get cocky, Nancy. Remember, we're st still focus on your day's pay. Remember what I told you? You told about making a day's pay. Um, Norm R, he 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 owned um, the PCG from seven forty three. Don't know where he sold it yet, but <laughs> you you can tell us. But he did great on that one. Frank got killed. It. He made over three dollars and fifty two cents. You know, uh, on PCG, he got out at thirteen fifty, right at the highs. Good for him. And Gene C, he did pretty well. You know, uh, made a half a day's pay. You know, he's basically doing some coaching with Josh. He's doing really well. You know, so good, good for you guys. Co let me tell you, the coaching that we do here at CTU. Remember, you can't do coaching until you actually learn the language of trading, because a lot of you are still overanalyzing, reading books, and, and listen, new traders, they got bad habits. But when you're ready and you go through the program and you're in like your second or third trimester of doing it, you know, of going, or, you know, reviewing it, then it's time to get the coaching done. And you listen, that's where your questions get answered. So let's give him a round of applause. He's doing really great with his uh, trading. Ken is already up 27 cents, already in AMRN. All right, there you go. You're getting tired slapping this thing. <laughs> it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool widget. I love it. All right. So anyway, let's go through some of the watch lists because we got a pretty good pack list right here. We all know about the PCG. Now, remember what I told. Let me tell you the. the, the, the you you read the news yesterday that they're. Um, I guess the news was that they're, they're not going to get sued. 
but they also just came out, and that's why it's backing off, that they said they still might file bankruptcy. So let me tell you something. <laughs> when you're a trader and you see the games that these companies play, sometimes it's better that they file bankruptcy. Sometimes they want that to happen, so they can wipe out their debt. And believe me, you know, there's definitely some shady stuff going on right there. But listen, you, you have great news, right? You're not getting sued. So you went from 50, now you're down to what, seven? Now you back up. Now you say, eh, maybe, eh, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe we should file bankruptcy. I don't know. But at the end of the day, uh, you got some very interesting stuff right there. So I would just be very careful regarding about the program trading that's going on. Really didn't trade too many shares so far. Only $3 million. We've been watching. It's been trading almost $200 million. But uh, guys, you know, remember, now is a day trade. The last couple of days, it was a swing trade. All right, let's go over a couple other things and see what's going on in the market. Uh, first of all, the Crohn's. That one also has been doing great. I, I, I talked about it earlier. Uh, that was another good swing trade that we had. It was a great day trade, and now it's been becoming a very good swing trade. Another stock I was a little upset on. It was starting to back off on me two days ago on a swing trade. I got out of it. I, I bought it back. I'm so mad because I had to pay more money for the stock than I wanted to. I wish I never did that. Uh, but listen, I'm back where I am, and that's what happens. And listen, you know, you're always, always, always trying to control your profits and control losses. But uh, if the trend is going up, that's what you want to do. Look at that. Somebody's already at my front door. Love that Google stuff. All right, so uh, what else do we got going on here? We got Crohn's. We got, uh, what else we got going on? We got the WDC. There we go. WDC is moving up pretty nicely. West, uh, Western G Digital. That stock up took a big hit. Want to keep a close eye on that one, uh, on the WDC. Got a nice little push. Talk took a little bit of a beating. Western Digital, very popular stock. Or Ken already made 43 cents on it. <laughs> there you go. So a nice little push. That was one of the stocks that are going to be on the watch list. We got the Crohn's. CGC is another one. Uh, this is a stock that I've been watching for a while. Guys, pot stocks have been doing great. We all, Some of you are fans of pot. Some of you are not fans of pot. Uh, remember, don't let that personal uh, feeling affect you not to make money on the stock. But let me tell you, um, when I was in November and, and I was at the, uh, at the expo in Las Vegas, uh, at the Traders Expo, the biggest convention there, they had over 30,000 people. I told you this when I was there. The most popular uh, companies out there were growing companies. So growing stocks are obvious. That, if, you, if, you want to, if you want to be in the right business, it's the growing business. You know, regarding about these new drugs and selling pot and stuff like that. But let me tell you, when I was told from everyone that was there, the growers are the ones that are going to clean up. A lot, I guess you can make a lot more money growing pot than growing flowers, I guess. So if you're a good flower grower, <laughs> why not sell pot, right? Business is business. So I would keep a very close eye on this, not only as a day trade, but as a swing trade. Uh, going to be a national pot day. Look at that, Ken. Well, you know what? That's going to happen. You know that's probably going to be a good day to trade pot stocks. Another one, we got the PCG on there. Now, listen, about, listen. the big news last night are all these other stocks. Starbucks, some people hated it, you know, what's happening with it. But I heard, I heard people were very negative of pot stock, but obviously they went up. So pot stocks are moving. I would keep a close eye on that. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the, the coffee shops. Uh, Starbucks, like I said, watching on TV, people were bashing it. They were like, eh, maybe not, you know. I'm not a fan of after all these coffee shops that are coming around. But sure enough, they actually pretty did pretty decent. And then meanwhile, the one that's the big uh, company that's going to really dictate what's where the market's going is Intel. I heard people like bragging about Intel. And they says, you know what? If Intel's doing great, the market would do well. I'm a big fan of Intel. Well, sure enough, that those earnings that came out were not, didn't look too great. So uh, we're right back to where we are, square one. So I'm not really – listen, I've been trading Intel for about 25 years hasn't really gone anywhere. This was like the godfather of the stock market. Uh, this was like our Dow Jones indicator, or our, our RSI, you might want to call it, but it really hasn't gone anywhere. Um, you know, they've been kind of stuck in limbo for a while. But you know what? At the end of the day, let's trade the other ones. So there's your list, guys. Great day so far. A lot of good stocks that are moving. So far, we cleaned up. Remember, how do we find stocks like CRON, CGC, PCG, 
How do we know how to swing trade them? Because we're good day traders. You got to know how to day trade first to say, hmm, you know what? This might be a good swing trade. Or, hmm, you know what? I don't want to type my swing trade. Then I'll do an option trade. But you don't do options first, swing trading section, second, and day trading third. You have it backwards. You got to know what's moving in the stock over the course of the day before you can position yourself on those other ones. So good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be back at 2.30. Let's see if we can do a good, uh, have a, uh, finish up the week on a good day. And hopefully I get to see you all in the upcoming events that I'm doing for the next two days. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.